بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیر اور تجھے with the topic of the sync function okay so I will give the heading of sync function it's also called as an interpolation function and it also has another name interpolation function and it's also called a filtering function filtering function now I don't know why is it called a sync function I don't know why is it called an interpolation function but I know why is it called a filtering function and it is because that it has a behavior of a low pass filter low pass filter so well coming back so sync function is uh, I would write it is represented the same as the representation is sync of t this is equal to sine of t divided by the value of t sine of t divided by the value of t now uh, we have an unnormalized and normalized concept in this particular uh, function and this that uh, I wrote this is basically the unnormalized now what is normalized so in normalized what do you do is that sine or sink of t is equal to sine of pi t upon pi t now this is it so the graphical approach I'm coming to that or let's say I draw it okay so let's say I draw it so this is your time axis this is your sink of t this is let's say pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi Similarly, negative pi, negative 2 pi, negative 3 pi, and so on. So, if you draw the unnormalized, which let's say I am drawing with the red color, or first the normalized, first the normalized. So, uh, the normalized is let's say with the green color, fine. So, the amplitude is 1. The amplitude is 1, okay. And let me draw it a little higher. So this is one. So this would be a sinusoidal signal of decreasing amplitude. Sinusoidal signal of decreasing amplitude. So you have noticed that the zeros are occurring at what? At the particular values which means that integer values so I would write that in normalized what happens is that the zeros all zeros okay all zeros occur where occur at integers at integers okay at integers so this is the first difference and the second difference is that the definite integral of this function is always 1. Definite integral is 1. So I hope you have understood the graph uh, of this function. So why is this a decreasing sinusoid? Because this is a combination of sine of t and 1 over t. So sine of t is referring to the sinusoidal signal and 1 over t is uh, is referring to the decreasing amplitude similarly now if you have for the unnormalized so the amplitude will definitely be one of this one also but what do you have is that the zeros they would not be occurring at particular values this is also a decreasing sinusoidal function but the zeros are not occurring at integer values zeros 
not occurring at integer values fine so i will write over here that this sync function is what this is a function of a sinusoid with decreasing amplitude sinusoid with decreasing amplitude while well, here the light would be reflected but i am telling you this is a sinusoid with decreasing amplitude as this is the combination of what this is the combination of sin of t and 1 over t is that okay 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 now uh about energy and power i would i would like to tell you so have a look i told you about energy and power signals so if you look at the graph what is the signal you can calculate through integrations but i am very weak in that you know it so the graph is throughout the time axis which means that this is an infinite extension signal but the amplitude is constantly decreasing so infinite extension signal with decreasing amplitude is what infinite extension signal with amplitude decreasing implies that the sync function is energy signal sync is energy signal fine and the energy of this is equal to pi energy is equal to pi fine now on time scaling if you have a signal sync of t so the energy is equal to pi now if you have another signal which is let's say sync of at so the energy of this signal would be equal to the original energy that is pi upon the scaling factor a so now if you have sync of pi t if a is equal to pi so which means that you have sync of pi t sync so this implies that the energy would be pi upon the value of pi and this would be one so that's it okay and you also know from the graph that as the value of t is tending infinity the value of the function sync of t is tending to be zero that is what you already know now i also have some more points so i will write it okay and you can judge it from the graph now over here if you see from the waveform from the waveform or if you put t is equal to minus t so uh, sine is an odd function or an even function i think it's an odd function right yes so uh, or let me write first so the first point that i want to write is that sync is an even function sync is an even function okay so this you can see from the graph it's it is symmetrical with respect to the y axis or if you if you want to prove it so you can say that a sine of sync sine of minus t upon minus t so sine is an odd function so the minus would come outside that is you have minus sine of t upon minus t minus minus would cancel out you again have sine of t upon t so you have that sine is an even function sync is an energy signal let this be oh, okay i will write it at the end so number 2 is sync of x well that is also done is maximum at the origin that also you know so amplitude is equal to maximum at origin and what is the amplitude that is 1 fine sync function is the product of oscillating signal sync sine of x in period 2 pi and monotonically decreasing function 1 over x therefore you know this 
it has unit peak at x is equal to 0 and 0 crossing at integer multiples of pi. So this we are talking about this normalized function is that you have a unit peak at x equal to 0 and 0 crossings at integer multiples of pi integer multiples of pi and also uh, one other point that I left one other point from 0 to the first crossing point from 0 oh I moved the camera I moved it but no problem so from 0 to the first crossing point crossing point which means the first zero of the function where the function is zero this is called the main lobe this is called the main lobe and what is the significance of this main lobe it is that the maximum energy of the function lies here maximum energy lies here so if I mention it so this one for the red color and this one for the green color so this region or this region this is the main lobe so that's all about it that's about the sink function that's all about today see in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye